Here's an overview of Redis forking and copy on write for data persistence. In memory databases like Redis need a way to persist data without blocking client requests and creating snapshots is one of the key methods to do so. However, capturing a snapshot of memory, potentially gigabytes in size while simultaneously handling client traffic poses a challenge. This is where forking and copy on write become essential. Forking allows Redis to create a background process that performs snapshotting, while copy on write ensures that the child process sees a consistent, unmodified view of the data, even as the parent process continues to handle new writes. Together, these mechanisms allow Redis to persist data efficiently while maintaining performance and data integrity. First, let's talk about forking in Redis. Forking is an OS-level mechanism that creates a child process by duplicating the parent process. Redis uses this to perform background saving. When Redis forks, the child process is created with its own process ID, but initially it shares the same memory as the parent. At this point, the parent process or the Redis server continues to handle client requests. The child process performs the snapshot to disk. This could be a Redis database or RDB save or an append only file or AOF write. More details on this later. How about copy on write? Once the fork happens, both parent and child processes initially point to the same memory pages, about four kilobyte chunks of memory. However, this doesn't mean that the parent and child are always accessing the exact same data, and this is where copy on write comes into play. Copy on write ensures that the memory pages are only copied if the parent process modifies them. If a client writes new data to Redis, the OS ensures that a copy of the modified page is made, allowing the child process to continue accessing the original unchanged pages. This way, the child process maintains a consistent snapshot of memory at the time the fork was initiated, while the parent can freely modify the data going forward. So why are we copying pages? When Redis is forking, the child process must work with a point-in-time snapshot of the data at the moment of forking. If the parent modifies a page or memory block, this would violate the snapshot. Therefore, the OS copies the page and gives the modified version to the parent while the child keeps the original. This guarantees consistency as the child process responsible for saving the data sees the exact state of memory at the time of forking. It also provides efficiency because only modified pages are copied, which minimizes memory usage. Redis uses forking and copy on write to handle two forms of persistence efficiently, RDB snapshots and AOF logging. These mechanisms ensure that Redis maintains in-memory speed while providing data durability. In RDB or Redis database snapshots, Redis forks a child process to create a point-in-time snapshot of the dataset, which is saved to disk as an RDB file. This provides fast recovery and compact snapshots. However, there is risk of data loss between snapshots and performance overhead due to forking. For AOF or append-only file, AOF logs each write command incrementally, ensuring better durability. Periodically, a child process compacts the log to avoid bloating. AOF minimizes data loss by logging every single change. However, AOF runs into the problem of larger file sizes and slower recovery due to log replay. In both cases, copy on write minimizes memory overhead by only duplicating modified memory pages, allowing the child process to work with a consistent snapshot while the parent continues serving clients. Redis can combine RDB for quick recovery and AOF for better durability, balancing performance and persistence. In conclusion, Redis leverages forking and copy on write to create efficient snapshots of its in-memory data for persistence. Forking creates a child process that shares memory with the parent and copy on write ensures the snapshot remains consistent even when the parent modifies data. This approach allows Redis to continue processing client requests while performing background persistence, balancing performance and data durability.